Among the many culinary delicacies that have emerged from necessity and ingenuity, tombong stands out as a dish that captures the resourcefulness of traditional cooking. Made from pig intestines, tombong has long been a staple in various cultures, particularly in Southeast Asia. This documentary delves into the history of tombong, tracing its origins, cultural significance, and how it evolved from a humble necessity into a cherished, if unconventional, delicacy. The history of offal dishes, which include organs and other internal parts of animals, dates back to the earliest days of human civilization. In many cultures, no part of an animal went to waste, and this necessity led to the creation of dishes that utilized organs, bones and intestines. Tombon, which refers to the pig's intestines, is part of this rich tradition. In many Southeast Asian countries, pigs were prized not only for their meat, but for the entirety of the animal. Rural and agrarian communities in particular learned to prepare every part of the pig and intestines were cleaned, boiled and prepared in various ways. The intestines, although challenging to prepare, were valued for their chewy texture and ability to absorb flavors from spices and seasonings. For many communities, tombong was a way to maximize resources and provide a hearty meal. Tombong has a deep cultural significance in the regions where it is consumed. In the Philippines, for instance, intestines are used in a variety of dishes, often served during festive occasions. The dish is prepared with care, thoroughly cleaned and boiled or grilled to perfection. Tombong is also used in various stews and soups, often cooked with vinegar, garlic and spices to reduce the strong odor and enhance the flavor. In many cultures, eating offal was historically associated with the lower classes as wealthier individuals had access to prime cuts of meat. However, over time, dishes like tombong became celebrated as delicacies, appreciated for their unique textures and flavors. What was once considered a food of necessity evolved into a dish enjoyed by people from all walks of life. In China, tombong is part of a broader tradition of eating offal, known as nose-to-tail eating. Dishes made from intestines, stomach and other organs are considered nutritious and are an important part of Chinese culinary heritage. Tombong, often served in soups or stir-fries, is celebrated for its rich flavor and the ability to absorb bold seasonings like Sichuan peppercorns, soy sauce and chili oil. One of the reasons Tombong remains a specialty dish is the labor-intensive process required to prepare it. Cleaning and cooking intestines is no easy task. The intestines must be thoroughly washed and scrubbed to remove impurities and odor. This is often done using salt, vinegar or lemon juice to neutralize the smell. After cleaning, the intestines are boiled for hours to tenderize the tough tissues. Once prepared, tombong can be grilled, fried or used in soups and stews. The dish absorbs the flavors of the spices and sauces it is cooked with, making it versatile and flavorful. Despite its chewy texture and strong flavor, tombong has become a beloved dish in many households, often associated with comfort food and family gatherings. In Taiwan, grilled intestines are a popular street food, often skewered and cooked over an open flame. The crispy, smoky exterior contrasts with the chewy interior, making it a favorite snack among locals. Similarly, in South Korea, intestines are used in dishes like sundae, a blood sausage made with pig intestines filled with a mixture of noodles, blood and spices. As the world's culinary landscape continues to evolve, tombong and other offal dishes have found a place in both traditional and modern cuisine. Chefs across the globe are rediscovering the value of nose-to-tail cooking, where every part of the animal is utilized in creative and innovative ways. Tombong, once considered an acquired taste, is now being celebrated for its culinary potential. In recent years, high-end restaurants have begun experimenting with offal dishes, including tombong incorporating them into fine dining menus. Chefs have embraced the challenge of elevating these ingredients, creating dishes that blend traditional preparation methods with modern culinary techniques. 
This resurgence of interest in offal has also sparked conversations about sustainability and reducing food waste. Yet, despite its growing popularity in the culinary world, tombong remains a dish that divides opinions. For many, the thought of eating intestines is still off-putting, a reminder of food's more visceral and primal origins. However, for those who grew up with it or have acquired a taste for it, Tombong is a beloved delicacy that offers a connection to cultural heritage and a celebration of resourcefulness. So, chapter 5. A. Delicacy of the Past and Future. Tombong is a dish that embodies the essence of traditional cooking, resourcefulness, ingenuity, and the ability to create something delicious from what others might discard. Its history is a testament to the resilience and creativity of the people who first prepared it, turning necessity into a delicacy. Today, tombong continues to be enjoyed by millions, whether in home kitchens or street food markets. It has survived the test of time, evolving with changing tastes and culinary trends while remaining rooted in tradition. As the world becomes more open to exploring diverse cuisines, Tombong's place in the culinary world seems more secure than ever. Whether seen as a humble dish of necessity or a delicacy worthy of celebration, Tombong remains a symbol of the power of food to connect people to their history, their culture and their community. This documentary honors that legacy, shedding light on the journey of Tombong from a rural staple to a modern day delicacy. Chapter 6. The Art of Cooking Tombong Cooking Tombong is not just a matter of boiling and grilling. It's an art form that requires patience, technique, and an understanding of how to balance flavors and textures. The unique preparation process of Tombong, particularly the cleaning of pig intestines, varies from region to region, each bringing its own touch to the dish. In the Philippines, one of the most popular methods of cooking tombong involves slow braising the intestines in a vinegar-based sauce known as the tangy, garlicky adobo sauce not only tenderizes the intestines but also helps mask the strong odor associated with offal. After hours of slow cooking, the intestines take on a rich, savory flavor that pairs beautifully with rice. For many Filipinos, this dish evokes memories of family meals and festive gatherings where tombong is served as a special treat. In other regions, such as Indonesia, tombong is often prepared with a heavy dose of spices such as turmeric, ginger and garlic to create a flavorful and aromatic dish that cuts through the intensity of the intestines. Served with sambal, a chili-based condiment, and rice, the dish delivers a burst of flavors that combines heat, tang and umami, making it a popular comfort food for many Indonesians. Across Asia, cooks have also experimented with various cooking techniques to elevate the dish. In China, tombong can be stir-fried with vegetables and bold seasonings such as soy sauce, five spice powder and chili. This method retains the chewy texture of the intestines while infusing them with layers of flavor. Alternatively, tombong can be deep fried, resulting in a crispy exterior that contrasts with the tender interior. Grilling is another common technique, particularly in Taiwan, where street vendors often skewer the intestines and grill them over hot coals. The grilling process imparts a smoky flavor to the tombong, and the resulting crispy texture adds a delightful crunch to each bite. These grilled intestines are often served with a side of pickled vegetables or a sweet soy glaze, enhancing the complex flavors of the dish. For chefs who specialize in offal dishes, cooking tombong is more than just a culinary challenge, it's a way to preserve a culinary tradition that has survived for centuries. By perfecting the art of cooking pig intestines, they pay homage to the resourcefulness of their ancestors, ensuring that tombong remains a valued part of the culinary landscape. Chapter 7. Tombong's Cultural Role in Celebrations Tombong isn't just a daily dish in many Southeast Asian countries. It also plays a significant role in cultural celebrations and rituals in rural areas where communities gather for weddings, religious festivals, and other important events, tombong is often served as part of the feast. The preparation of tombong for these occasions is typically a communal effort with multiple family members or even entire villages coming together to clean, cook, and serve the dish. During the Lunar New Year in parts of China and Southeast Asia, tombong is often featured in celebratory meals as a symbol of prosperity and good fortune. 
The dish, along with other offal delicacies, is believed to bring luck and blessings to those who consume it. In some areas, tombong is offered to ancestors as part of ritual offerings, connecting the living with those who have passed. In the Philippines, tombong is sometimes served during large community festivals that celebrate religious holidays and patron saints. During these events, tables are piled high with traditional dishes, and tombong is often prepared alongside other beloved Filipino foods like roast pig and noodles. Sharing a meal that includes tombong is a way of strengthening community bonds, celebrating heritage, and honoring the shared history of the people. In Indonesia, particularly during the Islamic holiday of Eid al-Adha, tombong may be served after the ritual sacrifice of animals, including cows, goats, and sheep. The entire animal is utilized during these celebrations, and the intestines are often cooked and shared among the community. Tombong, as part of this festive meal, embodies the values of gratitude, resourcefulness, and communal sharing. These cultural practices highlight the role that Tombong plays, not only as a source of sustenance, but also as a way to connect people through food. Whether served at large gatherings or intimate family dinners, Tombong represents a shared history and a communal spirit that transcends generations. Chapter 8, Tombong, in popular media and culinary exploration. Tombong has garnered attention in popular media in recent years, often featured on culinary travel shows, food blogs, and even in fine dining experiences that seek to explore and celebrate offal dishes. Chefs and food writers have embraced Tombong as part of a broader trend of rediscovering traditional foods and incorporating them into contemporary cuisine. For food adventurers, tombong is often listed as an exotic or challenging dish to try, something that pushes the boundaries of the palate and expands one's culinary horizons. In travel shows, hosts brave enough to try tombong often comment on its texture, which can be chewy or crispy, depending on how it's prepared, as well as its robust flavor. These shows often highlight the skill and care that goes into preparing tombong, emphasizing that offal dishes like this are an integral part of the global culinary heritage. In the world of fine dining, tombong has been reimagined in various ways by innovative chefs who seek to elevate traditional dishes. Some chefs incorporate tombong into tasting menus, pairing it with fine wines, or incorporating it into dishes with modern plating techniques. These interpretations of tombong often celebrate its origins while recontextualizing it for a contemporary audience. Despite its newfound presence in the world of gourmet dining, tombong remains a beloved dish for those who have grown up with it. Its popularity in street food markets, home kitchens, and family celebrations continues to thrive, even as it garners attention in new culinary spaces. For many, tombong's appeal lies in its connection to history and tradition, a reminder that some of the most flavorful and meaningful dishes come from humble beginnings.